I use the shadow stick method to make this east-west line right here and going perpendicular to it is my north-south line. The way to set the Ottomani sun compass is once you set this up, place the sun compass at this junction here so it goes east-west like so, north-south. In the northern hemisphere you want the vertical post to be to the south as you can see it here. Now let's take a little closer look at how we go ahead and set the compass itself. As you can see I've oriented it so the sides of the Ottomani sun compass are east and west and you can see the little shadow cast by the post. In order to set the thing all you do is at the tip of the shadow you draw an east-west line. This is crude but you'll get the idea. Use a piece of charcoal if you've got it, a pen or a pencil or even carve a line. And there's my east-west line. From now on when I want to orient what I'll do is I'll simply rotate the compass until the tip of the shadow touches the line and it's oriented again. And you can see what just happened. If I go like this, it pulls away from the line. If I rotate it back like this until it touches, it's oriented just the way the larger stick was oriented. So that's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple little technique. It's very, very functional and uh, kind of fun to make. I'm going to start out by showing you two techniques for determining direction with a stick. First I'm going to show you the shadowless stick method. What I'll do is I'll take this stick and point it at the sun so the shadow disappears. When it's set up that way, then I'll show you how you tell directions. So first we'll just point her at the sun like so. Takes a little pushing around, you know, got to shove that thing just right. Ah, there we go. Now you can see the shadow has pretty much disappeared. Now we have to wait. With the shadow less technique, what we did is pointed the stick directly at the sun. And then we waited for a little while, and you could see the shadow began to grow out of the base of the stick itself, and you can see it here. That makes an east-west line. Now how accurate is this? Well, this isn't quite as accurate as the shadow stick method for a number of different reasons, but I'll put the little compass down here and you get some sense of it. Remember now that the magnetic compass points a little bit to the east of north, but this is saying that north-south is about like this, with a correction for magnetic north, it'll be about like this. And the shadow less technique says that north is like this. So it's pretty darn close, and it's a really easy way to do it. Press it in the ground, point it at the sun, wait a little while, and look at the shadow. And there's your east-west line. Quick and easy. In order to do the shadow stick method, all you need to do is to place a stick in the ground like I've done with my walking stick here or find some other kind of a shadow, maybe one that's cast by a tree. And then you need something to mark the tip of the shadow. Now I've carved some little kind of stake looking things here that I'm going to use to identify the tip of the shadow at different points. You'll see this in just a moment. You can use anything you want, little rocks or other sticks. Makes no difference. But let's get started on this and I'll show you how it works. Okay, as you can see there's no shadow on the shadowless stick. And what I'm going to do now is take my little stake and mark the tip of the shadow from the walking stick, just like that. Now we'll let it sit for a while and see what happens. There we go. Now let me show you what we did. This is the first stake I pressed into the ground. And then I pushed another one into the ground at the tip of the shadow every 10 minutes. And you can see that it made a straight line. Now to make that line a little clearer, I put this piece of wood out here. Now remember, the sun rises on the, in the east and sets in the west. That means the first shadow will be cast to the west and the last shadow will be cast to the east. So this is our east-west line. Where's north and south? Well, north and south is a line that is perpendicular to your east-west line. Let me just show you. I'll just place a little stick down here to kind of give you some sense of it. This is about 90 degrees that you see right here. How accurate is it? Well, let me show you. I'll put this little compass right there like that. 
and you can see if you can see the compass that is pretty close it's almost right on now just so you know a magnetic compass points a little bit to one side of the of true north in most places it's a it's a feature called magnetic declination for where we are our compasses are pointing about 16 degrees to the east of true north so if you see a little difference between the way the compass is pointing and the way the stick is indicating that's because of a magnetic error in the magnetic compass but the shadow stick is pretty much right on in order to get some sensation of time using the shadow stick method you can take a stick as I have here and I've pressed one end of it up against the vertical shaft that we use to cast a shadow now if I move this off to one side you can see that it pulls away from the east-west line and then it comes closer to it again when you have the shortest shadow cast by the vertical stick as it is right here that's noon that's solar noon and guess what something else happened when you've got solar noon you also have north your shadow will be pointing due north at solar noon